Yo, what is going on guys? Huge shout out to Hut Puck Traders for a fast and reliable service. And we're going to open over 50 packs. These are all from free packs. And by free packs, I should probably say collection packs. But yeah, I've actually had a bunch of free time over the past two days. And literally, I've just been collecting teams. And I think I collected 13 NHL teams in two or three days. I think I collected the Devils two or three weeks ago. But yeah, basically I collected like 12 or something teams in the past two days and I've got over 50 packs. I don't show them all in here because some of them were just pretty bad and I think it went to like 14 or 15 minutes and I cut some of the packs out. So now it's only like 10 minutes, which is still pretty long. So again, viewer discretion advised, but I pull some pretty sick stuff in this. I pull probably my, um, I would say my best pull in this game later towards the end of this video. And I also pull a second or third best thing here. Well, second or third minus the best pull at the end. So third or fourth best pull in this game. But again, you guys will see all the stuff we do pull from the free packs. 50 of them. So that is pretty sick. Again, I think this is probably, in my opinion, the biggest pack opening on YouTube at the moment. I mean, you could say possibly that people could make a 50 pack opening they could potentially open 50 bronze packs but i'm opening 50 gold packs which i don't think i've seen on youtube for this game or even last year really. i mean maybe maybe a bit of big packs but 50 packs that's pretty insane and again the whole 10 minute might be a turn off to some people but i actually have a lot to talk about in this video i'm not going to be talking about okay i pulled paul martin that's cool i pulled this guy that's cool i want to be talking about some of the stuff going on with my channel, with this game, going on with Real Hockey, all this stuff. So if you guys want to sit back and relax, go ahead and listen to the commentaries. You see we pull a Tyler Sagan 50k. It's sick because that is a sick card. Once we pulled him, I decided to go with the Dallas collection. We completed that pretty quick. But anyway, let's move into some of the topics. So the first one is I want to talk about my channel and how it's been doing and all this stuff, my motivation, stuff like that. So first off... First things first, actually, my channel at the moment is doing the realest it's ever been doing. Like, the amount of subscribers, views, likes, all this stuff, comments, I think have been the most I've ever received, and I do really appreciate that. It actually means a lot that people actually like watching my videos, staying for most of them, giving them a like, leaving a message or comment. It just any of that stuff means so much even if you just watch some of it that means a lot to me if you watch it you like it you leave a comment you share it you do it for the vine and post it on vine say make sure you check out his channel subscribe i mean any of this stuff would honestly mean a lot and it does mean a lot because i mean i love making videos and probably the second most thing i like is getting feedback comments likes people just enjoyed my videos that's awesome and then obviously like the third and fourth sec uh stuff is like I don't know, I guess money's in like the fourth or fifth like spot, but I don't really care about that. Like I never came onto this for money and to be honest, I don't even really make a lot, especially with my current situation and contract, but I don't care because I love, I actually really enjoy making videos and editing stuff and putting this together, especially if you guys liked it. To be honest, if no one watched my videos and I didn't really get anything, I don't know if I'd still be doing it. I still like making videos, but a huge, huge reason why I continue making videos is because you guys support and you guys actually enjoy my stuff. So huge thank you to you guys. But I want to move on to, I guess, the future of my channel. So like I said, my channel is right now the biggest it's ever been. And I feel like it could go up more. Like I want it to keep going up and up. And right now, it's I guess it's steadily going up. It would be nice to exponentially go up. But it, it doesn't matter as long as it's going up and not down. That's fine with me. But what I want to talk about is this game, NHL 15, for the Xbox One anyway. Uh, it's just, it's a fun game. It's definitely an improvement over last year, but taking out all these modes and a lot of features in the game, it's just hard. Like, I like this game, but right now on my channel, like, besides the Deke history, uh, I don't know. Like, it's hard thinking of ideas. I mean, besides the Deke history, pack openings, and I guess what I've brought is, like, random little, like, I did the best face-off takers and stuff like that. Like, I don't really know what to upload, like, or have any ideas. I had tons of stuff written down before NHL 15 came out that I was really excited to bring out for you guys. A bunch of ESHL stuff I was going to bring out. I was going to do player builds. I was going to do a ton of montages. I was going to actually have a wager series with all YouTubers. 
I thought it was going to be a really, really fun thing. Live commentary wager against YouTubers. It was going to be a lot of fun. And, I mean, everything's basically gone. Like, there's no ESH at all. There's no wager matches. I don't really want a versus wager match. I don't think that would really make much sense. I mean, that could be a possible idea, but I don't really think so. And montage-wise, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I mean... I haven't. I don't really get the nicest goals. I mean, at the first few episodes of the Deacon Street, I got some pretty sick goals. But I mean, for a four to five minute montage, I don't think I would really have enough. Most of my goals are just backhand breakaway top shelves, so it's not too insane. So again, most of the series are out of the thing. The only other series that I'm strongly thinking into is GM mode. I've seen a bunch of comments, and I do really like GM mode, but not having the draft and stuff like that. It's just like. I feel like I like I feel like I want to wait. I want to wait till that update comes in October, and I'm really hoping that improves GM mode and stuff like that because then I can bring GM mode to you guys, and that's another thing. And again, I've seen people comment saying to get NHL 15 for the 360, but uh, to be honest, I don't really want to. I mean, I don't know. I I've been wanting to move to next gen forever, and I got my X. Well, I got my PS4 at first to get away from the 360, but I didn't really enjoy that, and I got the one to get away from the 360, and I'm enjoying it, but. There's not too many games for it. I thought NHL 15 was going to be the thing that completely killed the 360. I mean, I haven't played the 360 in a while, but I didn't even want to think about the 360 once I got the one. I want to completely move on. Like, when I went from the Xbox original to the Xbox 360, it was such a huge improvement, and there's no point to play the, the original Xbox. Maybe if maybe because the first or second day, because there was no games on it, but I mean, I don't know. Like, NHL, there's not that much to do in it. Again, it's a good game. The presentation is definitely a lot better, but... When you take so many modes and features out of the game, it's just hard. Like, I love making videos and stuff like that, but I don't really know what to make. Like, I don't know if I'm going to still have ideas and things that you guys are actually going to enjoy in three or four months. Not even like six or seven or eight or nine. Like, it's frustrating because I really do love making videos. My channel's the biggest it's ever been and it's growing really fast. And I'm really excited and happy about that, but... I want to get good videos out for you guys, a bunch of different ideas and topics and stuff like that, but I don't know what to do, like, besides PAX and Deacastry, even Deacastry at the moment is, I'm thinking of adding a rule in, like, a few episodes, or restarting, like, a season two type thing, and adding a rule to make it, like, really hard for me to move on and stuff like that and get a better team, but I don't know, I mean, I need your guys' feedback and opinions, and again, I do appreciate you guys enjoying my videos and loving them, but... Well, liking them. I don't really know if anyone loves my videos. If you do, that that's cool, and I do appreciate that. But I do enjoy people who like my videos, watch them, and stuff like that. That is awesome, and it makes me really excited and happy that you guys do because that gives me a lot of motivation to upload and record and edit and all this stuff. But again, I just it's hard. Like, there's not that much to do in this game, and I've been thinking of uploading other games to my channel, but I really don't know if people would want to watch them. I mean, I would love to hear your guys' feedback and comments on what you guys would want to see me upload and record and stuff like that, but I really don't know, like, besides in, in NHL, which is the only game I feel comfortable with recording because that's basically all my audience, on top of that, this is, like, the only game I know so much about, well, I know some other things, but, like, this is the most, I feel like, in a game I know most about it, and... I don't know, this is where I built my channel from the ground on up, and I feel like I should stick here, but again, this game is just hard to think of ideas, like, I was going to do be a pro series and really go off on the editing and make it really unique, but that would take a long time, I think that would take away from my hut, because I don't even have that much time to play this game and record and stuff, I've been trying to do as much as I can, and it's been hard to get out a video every day, so now it's becoming out every two day, every other day, but... Still trying it, so I don't know if be a pro would be the best idea. I'm waiting for GM mode, and then there's hut, and then that's about it. I mean, versus mode, I don't know what I could really do. Maybe road to a loss, but I don't know who would want to watch that. So, I mean, I it's really all up to you guys, because you guys are the reason I upload, I record, I edit, and I do all that stuff from YouTube. It's honestly all because of you, not because of the money. I don't even really make a lot of money, and I don't really care about that, but it's all because of you, and that is the reason why I'm doing YouTube right now. And it's honestly awesome, and I appreciate it. But what do you guys want to see me do? Like, if it's in NHL, be sure to be specific on what you want to see me record. If it's in another game, make sure to tell me. And right now is the best pack opening I've actually ever gotten in this game. I can't trade him, which is not the greatest. But we pull a Pavel Datsuk, who's definitely going on our team. And that is over 50 packs. And if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a like. Honestly, it means a lot. And that's going to be it for this episode, all well, this pack opening. If you guys enjoy it, again, please leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time.